Carlene, a beautiful day here. A little chilly last night and then really a, a pleasant day. It was nice, Marcella. Oh, very nice. We Denali got a long four mile walk. Long four mile walk where? Just around my neighborhood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four miles? Four miles. The person, That's what my Fitbit says. The person next to you won't even do six. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with you. Thank Remember 6.2? <laughs> yeah? Shady. Four miles. We're going to get him out there. Um, we, Marcella and I can do four miles in our sleep. <laughs> Some people need to just... Oh, can you? <laughs> yes, we can. Mm. Marcella, guess what? What? You get to do four miles again tomorrow. Okay, in great. Nice, pleasant weather. Now, by the weekend, maybe Marcella's not going to be too thrilled about doing four miles because we're talking about much warmer temperatures. That's going to be the case as we hit our inland forecast by this weekend. Those 90 set to return. So, Marcella, if you are going to do it, just do it really early in the okay. morning. Now, taking a look at those current temperatures, you got the 60s and 70s right along the coast. It's been pretty nice over the past few days. Those 60s and 70s haven't really gone anywhere. Now, the inland, it's a different story. A little bit warmer today. And current temperatures right now, you have those upper 70s. We're seeing that for Poway as well as for Escondido and also 78 degrees for Ramona. You have the 70s and 60s across the mountains. 103 current temperature in Borrego Springs. Now, wind speeds are still picking up. You still have that sea breeze. And that's going to continue as we go into uh, the weekend, but it's mainly going to impact right along the immediate coast. So we had the afternoon breeze picking up to about 12 miles per hour right now for Ramona, 14 miles per hour for Palomar Mountain, 12 miles per hour for Julian. You have the gusts in the teens right now for Campo as well as for Alpine, 13 miles per hour out of the southwest. That's for Escondido and 11 miles per hour currently for Chula Vista. We have this trough of low pressure that has been around throughout much of the week. That's why each day, temperatures have been getting a little bit warmer, and that is going to be different by the weekend. As you see that area of high pressure, that's going to move in. So as it does, we're intensifying when it comes to the inland heat. You're noticing that air mass is getting really deep with the reds as well as orange and that's because you're talking about much warmer temperatures. So that ridge of high pressure is going to expand more. It's been making its way towards the west over the past couple of days. It's also been bringing a whole lot of heat with that ridge of high pressure across the Midwest and portions of the south. They've been dealing with heat advisories as well as excessive heat warnings. A lot of alerts that have been issued. Now that trough of low pressure that we've had, it's going to move towards the north. So as a result, a high pressure is going to take over. And even talking about the return of some monsoonal moisture. So on your eight-day microclimate forecast, you're only seeing some added cloud cover. That's going to be the case by the start of next week. Much warmer temperatures for this weekend, and even a chance we could see some afternoon thunderstorms on Wednesday and Thursday for the mountains. Let's go ahead and take a look at your weather quiz question for tonight. Which of the following is not a cloud, uh, cloud type often seen as a warm front advances over cold air? Now I'm going to give you a hint. Three of these answers have the same ending. Mm -hmm. So... And I'm saying which one is <laughs> not a cloud type. Go for the one that doesn't have the same I ending. I see. Look at you. That's I, a very giving hint. I'm in a good mood. Is it A, cumulostratus, B, altostratus, C, cirrostratus, or D, cumulonimbus? Hmm. Exactly. Just head to our website, cbs8.com slash weather quiz to make your guess. You could win one of four family four packs of tickets for a day of unlimited fun at Belmont Park. This is San Diego's only beachfront amusement park, and this prize is sponsored by Corky's Pest Control. You get new weather quiz question every Monday through Friday during this newscast and our 7 a.m. Good luck. Might not be so nice tomorrow, but we'll see.